Doctors warn, if you use aluminum foil, stop it right now and this is the reason why. These days aluminum is the most distributed and most used metal on the planet, and it has found its uses in almost everything, from our kitchen supplies, our cookware, drinking water, vanilla powders, and sometimes into baking sodas as well, into cake mixes, antiperspirants and deodorants, aspirins and thousands of other products that we use on daily basis, in other words it is everywhere. And believe it or not, the aluminum foil is being the biggest threat to us, and we never even thought about it. According to the latest studies, when the aluminum foil is exposed to high heat, it is releasing aluminum into the food we eat, which can be quite harmful and is quite a big threat for our health. Experts claim that huge amounts of aluminum are released and infused in the foods when they are reheated, cooked or cooled down on aluminum foil. It is harmful for us because if there are excessive amounts of aluminum inside our body, the risk of Alzheimer's disease and osteoporosis is rapidly increased. Dr. Zubaydi, which is one of the authors of the study, reported. More aluminum is released from the foil, as the temperature gets higher. The aluminum foil shouldn't be used for cooking, especially for veggies such as tomatoes or spices or some citrus juice. But this is not even near the end of the story because the aluminum is also included into thousands of food additives that we can buy from the market, as well as some that are included into restaurants all across the globe. You would probably think that with its wide use, this metal cannot be harmful to us. For example, the iron is a metal that our body needs, but the aluminum is not needed at all, because it can cause only health issues and nothing more. Since our body is not in need of this metal, when we take it in, our body does not know what to do with it, it will eliminate it in time, but if we intake it in excessive amounts, of course it will build up. This metal can stack up in our thyroid, liver, kidneys, and our brain, therefore it is able to cause a lot of damage to our body. One aluminum is depleting our body of needed minerals. When there are excessive amounts of aluminum in our body, it is able to go through our brain blood barrier and it can accumulate around our cortex, hippocampus, and some other areas that are bonded to Alzheimer's disease. Once there is more aluminum in our body, than it can actually eliminate or handle, the cells of our brain are automatically exposed to risk of being damaged by the toxins. And since there is aluminum in bigger amounts, it will start to challenge other metals and minerals that are needed in our body some essential metals that are highly needed by our brain which it uses, such as iron, calcium, and magnesium. Therefore, a lot of those minerals are becoming waste and find no use. 2. Aluminum is damaging our central nervous system, CNS. According to a research from the mid-2000s, autism in young children was directly bonded to the exposure to aluminum. Especially in the ones that were exposed to aluminum in huge amounts in drinking water. But that was not the case with adults, the more they were exposed to this metal, the risk for Alzheimer's increased, as well as for lytico bodig, another type of sclerosis. 3. Aluminum can cause a lot of damage to your bones. The aluminum is not only accumulating around and inside your brain, it can also stack up inside our bone tissue, which will make our bones weaker and will elevate the risk of osteoporosis. 4. Aluminum is damaging our brain. You can see from the points above, aluminum is capable of doing a lot of damage to our brain, but that is not it. According to a research it was concluded that the aluminum is the one that is able to cause oxidative, toxic stress to our brain. And this type of stress is the one that can trigger epilepsy, ad, MS and thousands of other neurological disorders, which can be quite difficult to treat and cure. If you wish to protect yourself from the intake of aluminum, then we highly recommend you to avoid foods that are presenting it to you and make a diet that is free of aluminum. Also the products you use for hygiene and the ones you buy for your kitchen should be aluminum free, even though they are rare they can be found and purchased. Just go to the right place and you will buy them. Please subscribe. Give me a like. Leave your comment. Thank you so much.